The school system looks amazing. They have technology. They have a lot of playgrounds. The classrooms are so professional. They have bathrooms inside the classrooms. What's up, Ma fam? Today is an exciting day and also a day where it takes a little bit of some hard decisions. Um, today we are actually going to look at preschools for Leia. She's starting school in about a month. That's going to be in August. And she hasn't gone since pre-COVID. Uh, she used to go to pre-preschool and then COVID hit and, you know, it's, she's been doing online Zoom courses. But she's been she's been out of her Zoom classes for, I don't know, a couple months already. Yeah, it's been a while. So now it's time to get her into a school where she can actually go every day. And we are thinking, uh, we're on our way to a a religious preschool and there's a lot of religious preschools out here you know like Catholic Christian and we're gonna take her to a Christian preschool today just check it out um, and it's been voted the best preschool since 2012 every single year since 2012 so we're gonna go take a look at them today and see why that is and we're gonna decide if we should take her to a religious preschool or a non-religious preschool like a Montessori So Montessori school is basically a, um, the student is the one who takes charge of what they want to learn, right? Right. So, um, I mean, I think it's great because it teaches her to be independent, but at the same time, like, I wonder how she's going to know what she's going to learn and what's going to make sense. I think it's more of she can think for herself rather than, um, giving her all these religious things where they have to go and pray and then they have that kind of stuff to teach. So, I don't know. We're gonna check out both ways of learning and teaching and see what works out best. So, let's go. All right guys, so we went to this Christian preschool and I thought it was a really nice school. Uh, they do a lot of things with praying before meals, uh, praying before class starts, and they put a lot of God's uh, emphasis into their teaching. But the school system looks amazing. They have technology, they have a lot of playgrounds, the classrooms are so professional, they have bathrooms inside the classrooms. Um, it's so amazing. Leia, did you like that school that we went to? Did you like the school that we went to? Ah. What's in your mouth? Ice. Ice. Well, she didn't say anything bad. When we were there, she did really like the school. I thought it was really nice. Um, I like how everything looks pretty organized. And um, it's, it's kind of hard to gauge, I guess, because like the way that everything is set up, like it's kind of based towards like COVID restrictions, but for the most part, I feel like um, they're taking like safety precautions really well. And I feel like Leia can learn a lot um, from here. The whole like religious part of it, like um, the emphasis with like God and praying all the time, um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I feel like it'll help teach her like to have some more structure with things. But um, at the same time, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So, little background story. Um, I went to a Catholic preschool, and I remember I had to go to the chapel and pray, and I was very little, so I don't remember anything else about the school except for that. And now that I think back on it, I'm like, that was kind of cool, but at the same time, I'm like, why did they force us to pray, you know? But, you know, obviously we went to that kind of school. Um, and growing up in middle school and high school, um, I did go to a Christian church, uh, like three times a week so I was very involved in church um, and I haven't been since high school so I don't know it's I think it's okay for our kids to go uh, we just got to check out some other schools and see how it is oh what did you get I got a messy caramel latte a what messy caramel latte oh messy yeah I see how is it it almost looks like a frappuccino. It's good. It almost is. I feel like you would like this. I just gotta mix all this stuff in there. 
Um, but you know, actually, I went to church in high school too, and um, it's because I like I dated the sons, the, I dated the pastor's son, and it was kind of cool. Like I felt like um, it kept me grounded in a way, and I didn't feel like anything was really forced on me. I felt like I was kind of learning a lot of things, and I was opening up my mind to things, and I I didn't see anything bad with it at all, and I take it as like a learning experience. So I'm not opposed to it. Um, so yeah, now that I think about my own personal experience, I feel like I, I really do like this school. This guy, this guy thinks her coffee is ice cream. You giving him some whipped cream yeah. coffee? There's no coffee on the top. It's not ice cream, silly. It's yeah. whipped cream. This is one of the reasons why Leia needs to go to school, because the discipline is getting a little more difficult. You know, she's asking for her ice to chew on, and we said, that's enough, you know. We said, no, no. So, things like this is why we want to take her to school, so she can learn more discipline and learn structure, and that she can't always get what she wants. We try to teach it, but sometimes someone else has to teach it to her. Um, she won't always listen to us, so we do our best, but sometimes school is the best option as well. No what? Why are you being so bad? Don't you want to be a good girl? You don't want to go to school? Okay. If you don't want to eat breakfast, you can go to the car and go to sleep. Mommy, Daddy, Enzo will be eating breakfast. She needs school ASAP. Yeah, she does. So we got to this breakfast place and we got some chili killis and we got some chicken and waffle yep. benedict. Yummy. Which looks really delicious. Kids are going in on the chicken strips and the chips. So we gotta eat before they eat it all. So we came to the mall. It's the first time coming to the mall since pre-COVID. And we gotta pick up some new clothes for a gig that we got going on. And we can't tell you just yet because it's a surprise. But for this gig, I gotta get some off-white clothes. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to stick with off-white pants or white pants? But this is definitely the top that I'm going with. Man, the more you hold it up, I like the white. Like, it just looks so clean. We'll and get see. both. Then we gotta look for the kids' off-white clothes and look for yours. Yeah. And uh, let's go do that. Wow, if we get that, he can match with me. I know. This is really Huh? This is really cute. It is cute, but it's also very big. That's for big kids. He looks like a big guy. Yep. It's not for the babies. What size is this? That's yeah, five to six years old. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that is more like Enzo. Look how cute the little kid is. He's so small. I know. When I was putting that other mannequin earlier, I was like, oh my god, this is how he's going to be when he's like grown up. Go stand next to this guy. Let's see how small he is. I just want to hold him. Oh, that is, that, that is Enzo's size. Oh, oh my gosh, you going to take him? Take him home. No, I want the real thing. Wow. Hot mama. <laughs> Which one do you think you're going to get? I don't know. This is something that I was leaning towards. But this is like a white white. So, is it? It yeah. looks it looks off white. Does it? Yeah, this is I don't know. It looks like an off white to me. Okay. So this might be one option, but I feel like I still need to look at other stores to see if I can find something better. I found like shirts like these to go Ooh, with. Are like you a trying skirt. to hooch out? No. It's just like having like a cute little top and then like a long skirt that covers my belly and stuff. Come on now. Oh my gosh, you didn't even drink yet. I thought you dropped something. I thought you dropped a napkin. So we we're about to do some B-roll and I was about to be like, I'm gonna eat this, this beautiful bread with pesto and sauce all over it. And I picked it up and then I went, oh. right there, right there. Oh my God. I thought it was a napkin. That's why I was so quiet when you did it. Cause I was like, oh, that's cool. It's just a napkin. Back to your regular program of B-roll. Hey, 
Everything looks so good. Yeah, especially when this came out. We ordered a mojito. Look what's inside. This is the first time I've seen this. This is sugar cane in here. Ooh. Your favorite. That's awesome. So now we got to make more mojitos so we can have sugar cane. Ooh, I'm down for that. You want to take first sip honors? You do it. Okay. Miss bartender, we got to see if it's up to your level. Okay, let me check it out first. What's inside? Um, I don't remember. Rum, light rum. <laughs> Come on now. And mint leaves and like lemon juice and um, I think it's is it club soda, soda water. One, it's been a while. <laughs> one sip and you forgot. Yeah, it's really good though. I think you would like this a lot. All right, guys, we came to this steakhouse. It's called Waco. Wa Gaucho. <laughs> I don't know. It's an Argentinian steakhouse. It's our first time here. And we got a bunch of seafood. We got this uh, shrimp empanada for the first time. You gotta try that one. Yeah. So it's got cheese in it. And I'm sad I don't have my lactate pill, so I can't even try it. I'm so sorry. Look at the cheese. Just, I mean, don't look at the cheese. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so disgusting. You take a like bite. It. Shut up and take a bite. <laughs> I gotta get the sauce too. But what is that? Chimichurri sauce? I think so. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Cool. Oh. This looks horrible. It looks really good. It is, huh? It's pretty good. Yeah, I knew it. All right. All right, guys. So we came to this spot um, before coming to the mall. Uh, we dropped off the kids at grandma and grandpa's house. So we're kind of on a little date night. That's why we got a mojito. They didn't even check our IDs again. This is the second time we've been on a date night and no IDs checked. So a lot of the times we always want to say we want to do like a date night at least every other week. Realistically, probably once a month. And we haven't done that for like months since we started it. And I think it always turns into work because there's just so much stuff to do and we're always taking care of the kids. But like, I'm glad we decided to do this because we're almost at the point where we're like, should we just get fast food and take it back to the kids? But I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we got a drink to celebrate. I'm glad like we actually have time together and stuff. So it feels really nice. We should eat this while it's still hot because we don't yes, got kids should. to feed first. I know, how nice is this? Yay, we got new bread. Yeah. Don't drop it again. What? Don't drop it again. Let me take a bite first. This looks so good. I gotta get this bite in. Mmm. It tastes smoky. I had a spicy. Mm. Wow, they grilled it. It's so good. Tell me how this steak is. <gasps> I'm excited. Mm. How is it? It's really good. Like the flavor is very subtle, but I like the texture of it. It's bomb. It is bomb. This meal is so delicious and so much better when the kids aren't around because we really get to enjoy the food. But Going back to you know Leia's school, we also um, made some phone calls and we checked out some Montessori schools, uh, and they do like virtual uh, school tours uh, by Zoom. So that's actually a really good thing because they're being really safe, and I like that. But I also don't like that we can't go to the school and take a look. Um, but trying to decide between a religious school and a Montessori. I think we might lean towards the Christian school a little bit. What are your thoughts? <clears throat> I think um, it's not so much of the like religious or normal school. I mean, it kind of is in a way, but I think after speaking with like the people from both schools, I feel more confident with um, the Christian religious school because they seem more advanced. 
um, they have technology so the kids can use it and kind of learn from it. They also have restrooms in each classroom, which is a big thing for me because I always get really scared about um, the kids and Leia especially going to the restrooms with like the teachers and stuff and like just being alone in that kind of environment really scares me for her being a girl. So I really like that a lot. Um, and so, I, so one of the cool things is that the restroom it has the kind of like that half door where the top and the bottom opens up. So they said that the teacher will stand by the door to make sure everything's okay, but the bottom door is closed so they don't really see anything. So I thought that was cool. And the Montessori school, they just have restrooms in the hallways. They don't have in each classroom. So that's what's kind of like, eh. And they weren't really professional. It's like we had to wait for the director to call us back and get information. And it's like, okay, shouldn't the director have a little more time to do other things? One thing that was making it hard for me to decide was that with the Montessori schools, they have different classes that they can be taking. Oh, so yeah. it can be like piano classes, which I really like classes, art classes. But I really like that a lot. But is it enough for us to decide to go there? I don't know. Well, see, so the problem is if we put Leia into piano lessons, swimming lessons and dance and all that kind of stuff, they pull her out of class and a special instructor will start giving them those lessons. And she's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. When they get pulled out of class, they're not really doing much during that time. They're just drawing or coloring. And I was like, oh, so if she wasn't going to those piano lessons, she's not learning anything. You know, she's just gonna be coloring. So I didn't really like that at all. Yeah, so I think we have a good idea of where we want to take her, but um, I think we still need to decide if we want her to go like two days, three days, five days out of the week. And I think the whole purpose of us putting her into preschool is because we need time to do things for ourselves. We need time with Enzo, we need to work, and she can socialize too. But um, she's gonna be starting in August. And I think it lasts until about like May. And it makes me really sad just thinking about it, but I know she needs to like become more independent and not have to like worry about we have, us too much. We have a month and a half left with this girl. I know. I, I've never felt so sad and happy at the same time. Yep. My yeah. heart hurts a little bit, guys. It hurts a little bit right here knowing that she's going to go to school and we won't be with her as much. So no. we'll figure it out. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time on uh, I don't even know what it is. But I also hope you guys have been liking these edits from RJ. Comment if you have been and uh, we'll see you next time. Say thank you. Thank you. Say I love you. I love you. So shy.